Since the extended warranty protection was yanked out of the Costco Anywhere Visa, the question is, what's the best credit card to be using in-store at Costco? In this video, I'm gonna cover seven different credit cards that I feel are really strong options for not only getting some nice rewards, but also getting extended warranty protection on your purchases. The first card I wanna talk about is the Affinity Credit Union Cash Rewards Visa. Hear me out with this card because it's kind of a hidden gem that can provide you some real value. Now this card is through a credit union, but everyone is eligible to join with a $5 donation to one of their eligible nonprofits. Now what I like about this card is it categorizes warehouse stores like Costco inside of its grocery category, which earns you unlimited 2% back. It also gets 2% back on gas stations, streaming services, rideshare services, and restaurants, with 1% back on everything else. But you may be saying, Josh, why wouldn't I just get a flat 2% visa like the Wells Fargo Active Cash? Well, that's because not only does this card also get you 5% back on Amazon and bookstores, but Affinity also runs quarterly promotions, which can get you additional cash back. The past couple of years, they were running quarterly promotions where they provide an additional 5% back in select categories, which would stack on top of the 5%, 2%, and 1% base earning rate. This was really lucrative because when a 5% category rolled around for groceries or warehouse stores, it meant you could get a whopping 7% back on your Costco purchases, which is pretty unheard of. Now fast forward to Q1 2023. Affinity now has a program called Spend More and Earn More, which provides the following additional cash back structure for the quarter. You spend $2,000 and earn $30 back, you spend $5,000 and earn $65 back, or you spend $7,500 and earn $115 back. Just to clarify, you'd earn the highest reward based on your spend. So if I spent $7,500 in Q1, I'd be getting $115 back and not the $30 or $65. But since this benefit stacks on top of the base earning rates this card provides, it's a nice little cherry on top. So say you spend exactly $2,000 at Costco for the quarter. You'll get the 2% base rate, which is $40, plus you'll get the bonus $30, which brings you up to an effective 3.5% back. However, I certainly wouldn't be depending on Affinity's quarterly bonuses when making the decision to apply for this card. Now I did reach out to Affinity customer support to try to squeeze a little bit of information out of them for Q2 2023. Elizabeth from Affinity told me that as far as she knows, this spend more and earn more program is going to continue for Q2, but she didn't seem super confident. So we're going to have to wait and see. Extended warranty coverage. Affinity does double your manufacturer's warranties by up to one year of additional extended warranty coverage for items purchased entirely with this card. And it covers a max maximum of $10,000 per claim. You'll also get purchase security for the first 90 days of the purchase date, which covers you from things like theft, fire, vandalism, accidentally discharged water, or certain weather conditions. And this benefit's gonna cover up to $500 per claim. Now, what about sign-up bonuses? The Cash Rewards Visa is coming with not only one, but two sign-up bonuses. First, you'll be able to get $200 cash back when you spend $3,000 within the first 90 days. And secondly, you'll be able to earn $250 back when you spend $25,000 within the first year. Clearly, $25,000 of spend is quite substantial, but it's effectively an opportunity to add an additional 1% cash back across the board if you plan to run a lot of spend through this card. Plus, the Affinity Cash Rewards Visa has no annual fee and no foreign transaction fees. Overall, a very strong contender for shopping at Costco. The AAA Daily Advantage Visa. Now, this is an excellent choice for not only Costco, but also quite a few other popular categories. It's gonna get you 5% cash back at grocery stores, and it's gonna get you 3% back in the following categories. Gas and electric vehicle charging, wholesale clubs like Costco, streaming services, pharmacy, and AAA purchases. For everything else, the base earning rate is 1% back. There is a maximum of $500 in cash back that you can earn per calendar year on the five and 3% categories combined. Bind. This card has no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees, but there are a couple things we wanna be mindful of with this card. One, if you get this card, you're not gonna be eligible for the AAA Travel Advantage Visa and vice versa. So you wanna pick the one that's gonna be more beneficial for your particular spend behavior. Two, this card is issued by Comenity Bank 
and it doesn't have an app. I know some people have had poor experiences with Comenity. I personally haven't had any other products, so I can't really give my firsthand experience here. Now, there is a $100 welcome offer when you spend $1,000 on your card in the first 90 days, which is a halfway decent offer. And no, you do not need to be a AAA member in order to be eligible for this card. However, I do not see extended warranty or purchase protection being included with this card, so if that's an important factor for you, you may want to look at the other cards in today's video. Overall, this is a nice card with a solid earning structure that's a great option for shopping at Costco. Now, our next card is the Chase Freedom Unlimited. If you're in the Chase ecosystem and you like getting Chase Ultimate Rewards points, this is a great option to use while shopping at Costco. The Freedom Unlimited earns a flat 1.5x points, which can be worth over two cents per point if paired with a Chase Sapphire card or a Chase Inc. Preferred, making this an effective three plus percent back. Plus, you're also gonna get three X back on dining, three X back on drugstores, and five X back on travel purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards. One of my favorite things about the Freedom Unlimited is the welcome offer. Not only do you get a $200 bonus when you spend $500 within the first three months, but Chase is also offering a 5% grocery store offer on up to $12,000 worth of spend in the first 12 months. I'm currently using this exact welcome offer but with my freedom flex and i gotta say it provides a ton of value another reason i included the freedom unlimited in this video is because it offers extended warranty protection and purchase protection for the extended warranty protection you're going to get an additional one year of coverage for manufacturer's warranties of three years or less now the per claim maximum is ten thousand dollars and you only have to pay for a portion of the item with this card in order to be eligible and the purchase protection with this card provides 120 days of coverage covering up to 500 dollars per claim now this card has no annual fee but it does have 3% foreign transaction fees. Overall, it's a great option for those who are looking to earn points for travel, as the base 1.5x back is only really competitive when you can squeeze more value out of the points. And this is generally done by utilizing the Sapphire cards to unlock access to Chase's travel partners. Now, onto the card that I'm personally using at Costco, the Capital One Venture X. One of my favorite things about this card is its base earning rate is 2x back on every single purchase. Yes, this is is a luxury travel card, but at least hear me out on this one because it's one of the most value packed cards out there for anyone who spends at least $300 per year on travel. Now this card does have a $395 annual fee, but Capital One gives you a $300 annual travel credit plus $100 worth of bonus miles each year, making the effective annual fee negative $5, meaning Capital One is literally paying you to hold this card. Plus, the Venture X comes with an amazing welcome bonus that's gonna get you 75,000 bonus miles when you spend $4,000 in the first 90 days. That means you'll be earning over 20% back on the first $4,000 you spend with this card. Sweet. Now, I like this card for Costco because since Capital One miles are worth around two cents per mile, it means I'm effectively getting around 4% back in value. Of course, this is gonna depend on how you redeem your miles. If you simply redeem your miles as cash back, you're gonna get a horrendous cent per mile valuation. But since you can easily get one cent per mile, I'd use that as a baseline minimum redemption value. This card also provides a bunch of luxury travel benefits that I'm not gonna cover in this video, but if you're interested, check out this video up here. Now, as far as Costco purchases, the Venture X does have nice extended warranty and purchase protection. Since it's a Visa Infinite card, it's gonna have top tier benefits. For the extended warranty protection, you're gonna get an additional one year of coverage for manufacturer's warranties of three years or less. So this means even if your product only has a one month manufacturer's warranty, this warranty will now be boosted up to a total of 13 months. And this extended warranty is gonna cover your purchase with up to $10,000 per claim. Now, for the Venture X's purchase security, you'll get 90 days of coverage and up to $10,000 per claim. So if someone steals your new $9,000 Costco hot tub from your patio, don't even worry about it. But the Venture X also has another benefit that can be really useful. Let's say you go and buy the 93 inch plush bear from Costco and you get it home, whip out the tape measure, only to find out that it's actually 92 inches. You're clearly dissatisfied with your purchase, but for whatever reason, Costco won't accept the return. Well, the Venture X provides return protection of up to $300 per item, and it covers you up to 90 days from the purchase date. And before you come at me in the comment section, I know. 
Costco has a great return policy. This was simply an example. Overall, the Venture X is a very strong option to use for Costco purchases, but only if you can get use out of the annual travel credit and anniversary miles. Now, some have touted this next card to be the best credit card to use at Costco for its simplicity and for its high earning rate at Costco, and frankly, just about everywhere. And that card is the US Bank Altitude Reserve. While it does come with a hefty $400 annual fee, US Bank provides $325 in annual credits for travel and dining purchases, effectively dropping this fee to $7 $25 per year. The earning structure on this card is 5x points on prepaid hotels and car rentals, look through the Altitude Reward Center, and 3x points on travel purchases and mobile wallet spend. So as long as you load this card in your mobile wallet to use at Costco, you'll be earning 3x points every single day. But since you can redeem your points for qualified travel purchases at a 1.5 cent per point valuation, you're really earning 4.5% back in effective value with this card. This card is really popular for how simple it is. This can be especially important if you're playing in two player mode like me. Let's just say my wife isn't exactly into the whole credit card game as much as I am. She's into free travel, but when it comes to deciding between five different cards while at the grocery store, she's like, nah, I'm not about that life. So with this card, you earn an effective 4.5% back on travel and essentially any purchase you can use your mobile wallet for. There's really not much to keep track of with this card. And just like the Venture X, this card's a Visa Infinite and comes with top tier travel and shopping benefits. The extended warranty protection will add an additional one year of coverage to your item that has a manufacturer's warranty of three years or less. Now, in order to be eligible for the extended warranty protection, you must pay for at least a portion of the item with this card. As far as the purchase security, Security, your item's gonna get 90 days of coverage as long as, just like the extended warranty protection, you pay for at least a portion of the item with this card. Now, this protection is gonna cover your item from damage and theft. The Altitude Reserve also comes with the return protection that gives you up to $300 of protection. So when you purchase an item that you're not satisfied with, but the retailer doesn't allow you to return it, that's when you take advantage of this type of benefit. Overall, I think the Altitude Reserve is a nice choice if you enjoy simplicity and don't mind using digital wallets for everyday spend and also want some of the best protections available. Now, I do have a couple honorable mentions that can be good options for shopping at Costco. The Venmo credit card is a no annual fee honorable mention. It'll get you 3% cash back in your highest spend category. Groceries is one of these categories and the grocery category in this case actually does include Costco which we can see right in the rewards program terms. However, this card does not have extended warranty or purchase protection. The Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards is another no annual fee honorable mention as you get a flat 2% back at grocery and wholesale clubs, plus a customizable 3% category, which can either be gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drugstores, or home improvement slash furnishings. And the unique thing about this card is you can increase the cash back by 25 to 75%, depending on how much you have saved and invested in your Bank of America and Merrill Lynch accounts. So that 2% back at Costco could turn into 3.5% back if you have enough capital. <laughs> if you have enough capital. Have enough capital. What? So that 2% back at Costco could turn into 3.5% back if you have enough capital with Bank of America. This card comes with a nice $200 welcome offer when you spend $1,000 in the first 90 days. And in this video, I talk about the recent changes to the Costco Anywhere Visa. 